hi guys welcome back to my channel this is dimples on demand today is friday february the 5th it is almost six o'clock and i am doing my first order for the night well not for the day but for the night because i did do two doordash orders a little earlier so um this order from girl pub is picking up from brick lane curry house i could never remember the name of this restaurant but it's brick lane curry house it's paying 16 dollars and change and yeah i'm gonna start a running total so you guys can see what i'm making for tonight because i'm hoping for at least 100 but you already know how i am <laughs> let me get pissed off by something i'll be like all right that's it so um we're gonna see how much i can make tonight like i said hoping for 100 if not that's fine too so let me go into the restaurant and see if the food is ready food has been secured off to the drop off all right guys i'm living on the edge i ended up dropping off that grub hub order the customer lived three minutes from the restaurant then i got a request um to for a doordash order and the pickup was down the block that was paying 12.50 i believe so then I got a request to do another Girl Pub order. This one is paying, if I'm not mistaken, I wanna say it's $13. I didn't get to do a screenshot, but I think that's what it was. So me being greedy, I ended up accepting both orders. I just picked up the DoorDash order. It was picking up from a Grillette and I'm dropping it off. Customers like two or three minutes away and then I'm gonna hustle to get over to the restaurant to do the grub up order so doordash then grub up <sighs> breaking on break, breaking the rules and living on the edge anyway i'll get back to you once i get myself together okay this might be an all over the place video but i ended up um picking up that Grubhub order and while I was waiting for the food they Grubhub sent me another order so I actually you can see it right there I actually just went and picked up that add-on and the add-on if I'm not mistaken is paying $13 maybe 11 I really don't remember anyway I'm gonna go drop that off I can't say how happy I am that it's busy <laughs> This is what we long for in the gig economy to just be so busy and making so much money so anyway let me go drop off god the camera's all shaking let me go drop off this order and i'll get back to you quick update um i'm actually stuck behind a ups truck and that's fine so that gives me a moment to talk to you guys so i just dropped off that second i don't even know what i think it was the third grubhub order and they've been sending me offers, but when I compare the distance to the payout, I'm just declining. It just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, so I just got an offer for $23 to pick up from Smashburger. It's actually two customers, but one customer is actually literally down a block from where I just dropped off. And then the other customer is on my way home. So it's going good, it's going good. Uh, I gotta insert the running total so you guys can see, but honey, I am making some good money. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Good afternoon, guys. It is the very next day. It's Saturday the 6th, and it's four o'clock right now. I have to say that I have not left my house all day. Now, the reason is I woke up early, of course, Saturday morning ready to do Instacart and honestly not one order in my opinion was worth it and then as the day continued on I just knew that I wasn't going to do any Instacart orders because we're having another storm here as if the many many inches of snow that we just got wasn't enough we're having another major storm tomorrow so honestly I'm not I just don't want to deal with the whole grocery scene today if i have to stand online and check out blah 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 now i might do some shipped orders because if you're doing the ship orders from target you don't and if it's prepaid let me say that you don't have to wait online you just walk up to the front they verify and you keep it moving 
but we'll see i'm actually doing on my way to do a shipped order right now and it's picking up a cvs prescription order and i made sure to watch the order for a while like i refused to do the order unless there was a promo on it and even with the promo it had to be like a really good order <laughs> something worth it so i watched the promo order until it got to 16 it's paying between 16 and 17 dollars so in my mind that is worth it just to pick up sorry about that beeping just to pick up and drop off to the customer's house who the customer lives like a minute away so definitely worth it i'm gonna run in here right now pick it up and then i'll most likely or more than likely do grubhub or doordash so stay tuned for these updates okay i picked up and dropped off that cvs order and then i ended up taking a party city order because it was paying 23 to 28 dollars or 25 to 28 dollars and of course it has balloons you could see them back there but it wasn't a lot of balloons but nevertheless it was balloons so i'm gonna drop that off real quick and then see what else i can get from shipped no long lines no stress yeah i will i'll let you guys know what comes next so i dropped off the party city order it was not bad at all the customer gave me a three dollar tip um I forgot to update you guys on yesterday's goal. I wanted to make a hundred dollars and I like did a rough, like I added everything together or a rough estimate, rough total, whatever. I added everything up and I think I made like 90 something dollars. I, I'll put it up um, or I should have put it up in the beginning. Tonight's goal, I want to say let's strive for another hundred. Like. I feel like $100 is a safe, obtainable goal for me to try to make tonight. So yes, you already know I could do it, right? <laughs> Why make these goals when you know that you can make them anyway? Anyway, let me go in here. Oh, forgot to tell you guys. Um, I just got I turned on Grubhub and I got an order to pick up from Caldwell Diner. You guys already know this is my spot because I'm here all the time. And yeah, it's paying 11.03 if I can remember correctly. So let me go pick this up and I'll get back to you. Ready to go. Just got my second Grubhub order and it's picking up from a place called I think it's cheese, steak, and fries, or fries and steak, something like that. It's paying $15, so let me go in here, pick up this order, and move on to the next one. Just got my, is this the fourth order? Just got, I think this is my third Grubhub order. Picking up from the exact restaurant that I picked up from before, the cheese steaks and steaks, fries um, restaurant. And this one is paying $10. So let me go in here. Okay, I just dropped off that order. And I don't know if I ever told you guys the story where I was dropping off an Instacart order. And I was, a f well, no, I parked, I pulled into the person's driveway and this woman damn near lost it she's like what are you doing here you can't park here this is private property and i'm just like it's your groceries so ever since then like i kind of i've hesitated pulling into anyone's driveway um there have been times where i've just parked on the street and i would i will walk and then the, the person, the customer would say, oh, you could have just pulled in the driveway. But because of that one experience that I had, I'm just, I don't know, I, I just don't. 
but the drop off the drop off that I had just now look it's nighttime right so this lady lives on a lot of land and to get to her home you have to drive I want to say like far at least six or seven feet and this is probably me underestimating you have to drive and it turns into yards at this time right you have to drive a good amount of distance to get to her house i was not walking from the street first of all there's nowhere to park it's snow on the ground piled up so you can't really park on the street because then it makes the the lane narrow so I was like, all right, I'm gonna pull in. But then when I saw the distance, I said, oh no, I'm driving all the way in. Anyway, I get to her house. <laughs> She's like, oh, you were brave to drive into my driveway. So I'm like, was I not supposed to do that? She's like, oh, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'm looking at her like, miss, it's dark outside, number one. Number two, yo, I've seen coyotes. I've seen fo a fox. I've seen deer. You're not about to have me on, like, I'm not gonna, no. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But the answer is absolutely no, right? So I drove in and I was just like, all right, have a good night. Then she's like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really care at this point. But I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, you see how deep in you live. Like, she's surrounded by a wooded area. She's like, oh, you're brave. Like, what were you gonna do? It's over. Let's wait to see what my next order is going to be. I'm picking up my fifth and sixth grub pub order. It's a double picking up from the Thai restaurant that you guys always see me go to, and it's paying $23. I actually went home for like 10 minutes, and I stayed signed on because I, <laughs> I knew if I like got too comfortable, I was just gonna stay in the house. So this order came in, I said, you know what? I can actually do this one, it's not that bad. So I'm just waiting now to see, I'm gonna walk in to see if the, the food is actually ready. And if not, I'll just come back to the car, get a few more minutes and then we'll see. It is eight o'clock right now. When did I start? Four? started at four so i made about i made the hundred dollars so i'm not including this order which that's not bad so yeah let me go check on the food to see if it's ready so the the two grow pub orders are not ready yet i am signed on to doordash because you know i'm multi-apping and i just got a request to go to walgreens to i don't even know what i'm picking up i actually don't care what i'm picking up but I'm going to Walgreens. The pay is $12.25, I believe. So I'm headed there now. I can see it. It's down the block. And the customer lives down the block from the Walgreens. So easy order. Then I'll just turn around and go right back to the restaurant to go pick up the food. Hopefully it'll be ready by that time. I just wanted you guys to see that's where the Walgreens is. And this is where the drop off is. So I'm back home and I wanted to update you on the orders that I have done off camera. I ended up taking one more Grubhub order that paid $9. And while I was at that restaurant, they sent, I was signed on to DoorDash and DoorDash sent me an order from the same restaurant for $11. So I ended up doing both of those orders. And now I'm home. Um, tomorrow Sunday, tomorrow is the storm. I'm not certain that I'm gonna be working tomorrow. If I am, then I'll continue the video. If not, this is where it ends. And yeah, I'll insert my total. If <laughs> if I'm not working, I'll insert the grand total. And that's it, so. So as you can see, it is snowing outside. So I will not be going out for today, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video. Okay, let's get into what I was able to make for this week. On shipped, I made $45.73. I completed two orders. For Instacart, I made $120.56. I literally also completed two orders or batches. 
on Grubhub, I made $146.98. And on DoorDash, I made $141.95. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.